everyone and welcome back to my reef tank. Today I'm going to talk about the different foods that I feed my corals. I've been using a combination of four different small particle foods. I'm going to show you guys what those foods look like, how I prepare them for feeding, and then I'm going to go ahead and feed my corals so you see how I do that process as well. The first coral specific food I ever tried, and one that I've been using since I started keeping corals over three years ago, is Polyp Labs Reefroids. It comes in this little white tub and is a dry powder that I mix with a little bit of tank water. The particles are very fine, so it's good for filter feeders like Gorgonians and Feather Dusters. I usually do two scoops of each food that I'm going to feed. I put it in a little glass jar and then I add some tank water. Hikari's Coralific Delight is a food I first got a couple years back as a sample at Aquatic Experience. Like Reefroids, it's a dry food that is mixed with some tank water. The particles are a little bit bigger than Reefroids, so while it's still great for filter feeders, I also use it to feed my rock flower anemones and zoanthids. It comes in a purple pouch, and I like to keep a little bit of it in a glass jar, which makes it easier to scoop out whenever I need to feed. Coral grub from Aquamax is a food I've only been feeding for a few months. Like the other two foods, it's also a powder, though this one has a higher moisture content. You can see that the moisture causes it to clump up a little bit. This food is pretty stinky and I'm gonna have to start keeping it in an additional airtight container because it's actually stinking up my closet a little bit. The particles of coral grub vary in size, so it's kind of like a mix of Reefroids and Coralific Delight. I usually just scoop up a little ball or two, add the water, and feed. The last food I'll talk about is Oyster Feast by Reef Nutrition. I've been trying this one out for a few months and unfortunately I don't really care for it. It needs to be refrigerated which is a bit annoying because our fridge is on the other side of the house. Maybe if I had a bigger tank with more corals to feed and a dedicated mini fridge in a reef room with all of my reef food, I wouldn't be as much of a hassle, wouldn't be as much of a bother. The particles are very small, so this food is great for SPS corals, but personally I only have a few SPS corals, so that along with the hassle of having to go to another room to get the food means I don't really feed much with this one. This is also one that I mix up with a little bit of tank water after soaking up about two milliliters with a syringe. This handy little scoop that you see me using actually came with a pellet food called Ocean Nutrition, a nano reef fish food. I really like using this little scoop. It makes it easy to scoop out all of the dry powder foods. And generally, like I said earlier, I use two scoops of food and add the food to a small glass jar. I then take a dropper to add some water from the tanks and stir up the food. The particles will settle, as you can kind of see here, especially with the Reefroids and the Coralific Delight. So before I feed, I make sure to just swirl each jar before adding it to the tanks. Before I feed, I also turn off all of my pumps. I then kinda sorta target feed my corals, waiting five to 10 minutes before turning on only the circulation pumps. After another five to 10 minutes, I switch the return pumps back on. So the first food I'm going to feed is the Reefroids. Again, I'll mix it up a little bit before adding it to the tank. And this food's really good for Gorgonians. So I'll kind of, sort of target my Gorgonians first. And as you can see, the fish like it as well. And it's just a really fine powder. The next food I'm gonna show you is the Coralific Delight. Like I said, it's a little bit bigger than the Reefroids, so I use this to feed my rock flower anemones. Again, the fish like it too, 
so they'll try to take a little bite as well. Now I'm going to feed the coral grub to my other tank. Now like I mentioned before, this food has a lot of different sized particles. Larger particles, smaller car particles, I really like the mix that it has. And lastly we have the oyster feast. Because this is so fine, I'm going to put some by the SPS and the Gorgonian. You can see that you can't even really tell that there's particles. It's just a milky substance. It's very thin. If I had to rank the foods, Coralipic Delight would be my favorite, followed very closely by Reef Roids. Coral Grub would be in third place, but only because of how stinky it can be. Unfortunately, last place would be Oyster Feast. I'm always interested in what foods are out there, so let me know in the comments what foods you're feeding your corals. Of course, some of my hungrier corals, like my rock flower anemones, acans, and sun corals, do get pellets and frozen food when I feed my fish, but that's going to be for a video for another day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions on other foods I can try. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.